Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn who are currently in a relationship, so let's find out together what's coming through for you in the love arena. So guys, the energy is on the table, finding sanctuary, breaking trail, solitude and faraway places, then we have willingness, freedom and gratitude, energies for you, ace of wands, ten of wands, ace of pentacles, Energies for your partner, four of wands, two of wands, six of cups. Meeting energies, the full, three of pentacles and the knight of swords. Five of wands from the bottom of the deck. The five of wands is a noisy and annoying energy for me. It can be about confusion, indecision, voices coming from people around us. People keep talking, they can say what they like, always quoting one of the Alicia Keys songs. But it can even be an energy about inner turmoil. It's like when our heart is conflicted. And there is this feeling involved in a situation like this one, because an important connection for some of you is unfolding like 10 times faster, you know? And some of you may think that you have almost reached the closing point, the breaking point, from the Ace of Wands to the Ten of Wands. Why? Because the Ace of Pentacles maybe has not been properly shared just yet. If we think about an agreement in favor of a meaningful commitment, your person your person may think about the opportunity to manifest the four of ones, but they are still at a crossroads in their mind. They have not made the decision and maybe they would like to procrastinate the opportunity to do so. Six of Cups. This is interesting, guys, because it is my favorite card in the deck, all about the purest of arts. So for some of you, this energy describes the roots of your connection. For others, it can describe little ones. So it's like you or your person may have a kid because of a previous relationship. If that's the case, this is an important factor in the overall alchemy of your connection. Right now, it can be difficult for you and your person to find a productive agreement, Three of Pentacles. Instead, if we think about a leap of faith, the two of you can argue because you may desire to take a step forward in favor of the connection. Your person may be of a different opinion. It's like they are not willing to take the step forward just yet. So as a consequence, some of you guys can take a moment for yourself, solitude, in silence, peace prevails, in order to think about what? About the difference between a connection that feels like a sanctuary and a connection that is becoming merely a source of struggles. If that's the case, freedom, a breakthrough, new horizons, faraway places, can become more than just thoughts. Let's find out more, guys, let's see. For you, I want to see the Ten of Wands, because for me, the energy describes the last mile of a challenging situation. For your person, I want to go for the Two of Wands, because there is the word in the energy, so the word is about completion. So, a stage of the connection has to end in order to allow a brand new one to begin. But we have to understand if the leap of faith can be taken together. And so in the meeting, I want to see the full. Ten of Wands, here we go. Page of Cups. Lovely token, sweet act of kindness and love. This is like when someone wants to talk about a topic that is heart related. 
but it's like when we start to talk about it by choosing a different angle, you know? To you, I would say, be straightforward. If you want to talk about the Ace of Pentacles, talk about that. Knight of Wands, this can be about passion, guys. It can be a factor, but the Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands combination of energies is not the answer. And so some of you have been enjoying the connection if we think about uh, its sexual side, but this is not enough anymore. That's why I was saying that the connection um, is unfolding 10 times faster. A spark is quickly fading away in some sense because of sex is not everything, you know? It's an extremely important factor, yes, but it's not the answer to every issue of a connection. This is what you want, the four of ones. Recurrent energy, what your person can think about, but for whatever reason, may not want to pursue right now, it seems. Because if we wait to make a choice, it means that we are not exactly convinced of the topic, the issue, the object of the decision, judgment. This is going to be an ultimatum, guys, and it seems that you are about to bring it up. Make it or break it type of moment for the connection. This can be about the opportunity to become official. This can be about the opportunity to get married. This can be about the opportunity to buy a house together, you know, big step, the Ace of Pentacles. What about the Two of Wands? Three of Pentacles. Recurrent energy working together. Your person is standing still, but they seem to struggle to understand you. And if the two of you argue, it can be more difficult to find solutions together. King of Wands, they want you, they want you 100%. They want you, if we think about the physical side of the connection, here we go, Two of Wands again. They are sitting on the throne, guys, like the King of Wands. The more they wait to stand up, the more they wait to level up, the more you guys can feel the discomfort. That's why I was saying to you, if you are feeling uncomfortable, like you are carrying all the 10 ones on your own, by yourself, speak up, be honest, say what you want to say, and then see what can be the feedback of your person. Because if you stay quiet, you are going to experience a lot of turmoil, but nothing useful can come your way. Only discussions, the Knight of Swords. So let's see the full, guys. It seems a make it or break it type of moment for this connection. Here we go, four. Queen of Swords, speak up. Truth and clarity, we need them. The Queen of Swords can be a little bit harsh. That's why discussions can be a factor but uh, we have to be honest with each other. This is the first point, uh, the first thing to do in order to figure out if we can move forward together. Six of Wands, this can be a desire for victory. You can get it if and only if you find an agreement, otherwise you are basically stuck. The Emperor, someone that can take the lead, someone that can lead by example, uh, the energy can become about stubbornness though, guys, and if there is someone stubborn in this situation, it can be your person because they are procrastinating a decision. Page of Wands. This is not an energy that can be in favor of the connection because it is way too superficial. And considering the Knight of Wands, this can be a modus operandi that can be involved in the connection, but a modus operandi that you may not like. 
That's why the strength card, the bottom of the deck, is the energy that can give you guys the courage in order to face an important conversation with your person in order to assess the situation the best you can but you will have to be honest you will have to say what you want what you can expect in favor of the connection because this is the only way to at the very least try to find a breakthrough that can be positive for the connection but i have to say guys that if there is a stubbornness at play for whatever reason especially coming from your person some of you may take a moment for yourself after a conversation and you may decide that the leap of faith is going to be taken yes but towards different horizons get ready for new horizons far away places if that's the case breaking trail a breakthrough is at hand can describe the opportunity for some of you to go in a different direction i can understand that this can be disappointment guys but the energies are basically offering even this scenario this is going to be a make it or break it type of moment but if you are clear and if you say out loud that you want the four of ones and your person doesn't uh, reciprocate the desire you already have the answer that you need even if it can be one different from the one that you were hoping for so your partner can even ask you guys to keep doing things as the two of you have been doing I am not confident in saying that you can be available to do that. That's why freedom can become more than just an option for some of you. Major conversation, guys. Be honest. Lay down all the cards on the table and see what your person is willing to do. Then you are going to make your own decision according to the feedback of your partner. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.